In this week's Matchday Vlog, Warsaw take on Paviers in another top four battle in the Regional 2 West Midlands North League. Warsaw travelled away in hopes to bounce back after their previous loss to the top of the league. This game was definitely one of the closest games that we've had all season, and this was not one to be missed. Make sure you've liked this video if you want me to keep making these game day vlogs. You don't realise how much it helps. Now let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we've got another match day and we are playing away against Pavius. Now the weather doesn't look very good. It looks pretty rainy. It's pretty shit outside. And we've also got to travel just under two hours to get to this game. So I've got to leave a lot earlier today than I do normally. But me and a couple of the players, we've put together a little mini bus. So we're going to go down on the bus, which should be pretty fun. And then on the way back, have a few beers, stop off at a few places. And it saves us all driving two hours there, two hours back. More boats. All right. All right, we're ready for the bus, boys. Hey, it's time, big man. You good? Then we'll be coming on the bus. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's he's you, man. Hi, Max. He's at my best, Hi, Max. Max. Hi, Max. Come on. My best mate is back. You're his best mate. You're his best mate, don't we? What? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Show me what you're doing with that. No. Show me what you're doing. Have you got a filter? Let's have no, a look. Man. Let's have a look. No, man. I ain't got a filter. So what are you doing with it? No, Where man. is it? Where is it? Keep my hand back to the head of me. Good start to the day. The bus isn't turned up. Should we just call it a day? Beer bus. Beer bus, call it a day. Best looking lads at the back. Rocking out here. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> I must have time out as well. Well, I won't get one for it. That bastard. <laughs> Right, so in today's squad lineup, looking pretty similar to last week, but we have got the return of a few injured players. So in the front row today, we have got Liam Taylor, Rich Wilson, and Simon Weaver. Matty James and Lucas Cottrell in the second row. James Tomilio and Corey Selby in the back row. And George Perkins at eight. And then in the backs today, we have got Mitch Carlos at nine. Ben Pitt at ten. Rob Angel and Hanson Christofferson in the centres. Me and Dan Carpenter on the wings. And Toby Smith at fullback. Right, so kicking off into the first half, this was set to be a big game. Pavias were third in the league and we were fourth. And straight from the off, Warsaw with a line out. Great take there from Lucas. Spread into George. Out the back to Ben. Into Rob. And Rob's taking that in. Then we're trying to get quick ball. The weather actually wasn't too bad in the first half. So we were just trying to get as quick ball as possible. However, Pavias do get a turnover here. So first line out now for Pavias. A great take there. And into their 10. Who then goes across into their 13 taken down by Rob. Then some quick ball from the 10 out into the 15, 15 steps inside. Then they do put a kick in behind, which Toby is there to just watch that out. Pavia's line out now on our 10 meters, but we do steal that ball. And Ben spreading it wide into Toby, who Toby clears that. Um, and it's heading towards their fullback, who's chasing it back. It's about to go dead, but he does get the ball. And then he clears their lines. So good meters gained for Warsaw. Couple of minutes later now, Pavia's on the attack. The 10 spreads it into the 12. 12 goes to Spready, but Hansen with a great interception. And he is free. They're chasing him, but they're not gonna catch him. And he puts that down for Warsaw's first try. <laughs> I am so glad that Hansen got that intercept because there was about four of them outside with just me. And Mitch with a nice, easy conversion. So a good start really for Warsaw, um, a try in the early stages of the game. Now Pavia's on the attack, uh, the 12 steps inside, breaks through a few of the tackles, but a lovely tackle there from Lucas. They then come back inside, but the ball does go a little bit loose into that eight, who just takes that in. Then the ball is spread again. It goes out the back to the 10, into their big boy, which Rob misses. I just <laughs> speed bump that tackle. And then they come back inside. So Pavia's building some good phases here. Another lovely tackle from Lucas, but there was a penalty advantage there for offside. So Pavia's line out now. Again, it's loose at the back and we do manage to regain that ball. But it goes back to the scrum, which we take and um, the ball then comes out the back into Ben. Ben spreads that into Toby. Toby goes for a kick, but then steps 
and we do lose possession there, which Pavia's then on the attack. Their winger breaks through, but a great tackle there from Dan to stop him getting through. However, another penalty. So Pavia's again with the line out on our five meters and a driving ball set up, but Warsaw do defend that pretty well. Then Pavia's just trying to build the phases here. They're literally a couple of meters out. The ball then comes back, but it is a little bit loose. Great pressure from Warsaw to force that knock on. Now Warsaw with the scrum, Mitch is about to get that at the back of the scrum, but their nine was offside, so we get a penalty, which Ben clears. Couple of minutes later now, Pavia's on the attack, the 10 spreads that into the 12, 12 spreads it nice and wide, I'm trying to defend a two on one here, the 15 then gives it, I'll try and get across the winger, he just sits me down, but Ben and Hansen tackle him. Then the ball come back inside, great tackle there from Lucas again. Ball does come loose and George picks that up, and then George on the attack, However, we go back for the scrum. Scrum now for Warsaw, uh, comes out the back to Ben. Ben into Rob, Rob then pops that to Hansen. Hansen takes that in. Then back inside with some great carries here from Liam. And then the ball does come a little bit loose, but Bash does regather that. Spins out one of the tackles, goes in. Um, and in this, Rook here, I got a massive dead leg. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I had the same issue and I just hit my knee off someone's head in the exact same spot that I did a couple of weeks ago. And I tried to run it off, but every time I would step on my leg, my quad would just collapse and I couldn't run. So I did go off the pitch. So Pavia's on the attack now with a line out in our five meters, 10, taking that into contact, great tackle there. But they do win another penalty. So they go to the corner again with another line out. They set up the driving mall. Warsaw just scrambling, trying to defend that. But then on the Blind side, they do get it off into their nine who scores. And they do get the conversion from the corner. Warsaw scrum now, and it comes out into Mitch. Mitch switch line into Rob. Rob just crashing that in. But then the ball does go loose, and Pavia's get the turnover. Pavia's now on the attack on the blind side, goes into their eight. He steps on the outside, gets a great offload there, and then we do lose possession once again just from one of our mistakes however some big tackles going in in the midfield here and then the 10 spreads that into the 12 12 just about gets outside liam um, and then he steps but a great tackle there from toby pavia's with a bit of momentum now and they are attacking in our 22 and then they do go on the blind side 13 into the seven uh, another tackle there but unfortunately there was a penalty so pavia's again to the corner they're looking to play and they set up that driving more once again and with pushing and pushing, Warsaw just scrambling, trying to defend, but they do manage to get over for the try. Which they do also get the conversion. So Pavia's now on the attack after the kickoff, and they do just take that into contact. Corey in at the breakdown, just trying to make this as messy as possible, which he does get over, and one of their players comes with a side entry there, so we do get a penalty, which Mitch goes for posts, and he gets it. So not long after now, Warsaw with the exit, Ben with a lovely kick there, 15 with a great take. Um, he then steps, puts another kick through, and that is going in towards Dan Carpenter, who catches that, gives it into Toby, and then Toby with another clearance kick. It's looking like a kicking game in this weather. Um, that's a great kick there from Toby, which goes over the try line into the dead ball area, which their player is forced to tap down. So goal line drop out now, goes straight into the hands of Bash. Bash then running that back and taking that into contact. Then with some quick ball, it's over the top to Dan, but unfortunately he does drop that and it does go out. But we go back because we did have an advantage with a scrum, um, a great scrummage there from Warsaw. I would not want to scrum on this pitch. You can see their feet just sliding. Uh, George picks and goes from the back. Then the ball comes out, it goes out the back to Ben. Ben does get caught, but then he does get the offload into Hansen. Hansen on the outside, slips, gets the offload. Dan with a great pickup. Good show and go, steps inside, and a lovely dive to finish that try. Mitch goes for the conversion, but unfortunately, he does miss that one. This by far was my favorite highlight of this entire game. Pavia's with an overthrow to the back. Weaver catches it, steps the 10, <laughs> carries on running. What a great carry there from Weaver, our prop. And then Ben there with a lovely, intelligent kick to clear that. 
Dean with a great chase, great pressure on here, and their winger is forced to put the ball down. Now from that pressure, the goal line kick goes straight to George. George then takes that in, and then he does get the offload into Rob with a great take. Rob steps inside and under the post for another try. Great territory gain for Warsaw and really good pressure, which has then led to a try. Mitch nice and easy gets the conversion and that was the first half done. So I think we were pretty happy with first half performance. I think we did have a few errors in defense which gave away some stupid penalties but overall we we're looking pretty solid. Okay so kicking off into the second half now uh, we know we needed to really ramp things up because this was still a very close game. Pavias with the line out here then goes into their 10. 10 spreads that into their winger. Winger then steps on the outside into their 15. Great tackle from Hansen and the ball is loose from the offload. A couple of minutes later now, Pavias are with a scrum. Um, a great little loop around here uh, for the backs, but then a great tackle there from Rob and Ben. The ball then coming back inside to their eight. Uh, Pavias just trying to build that momentum again just to try and get back in the lead. The ball then spread wide. Um, great tackles from Warsaw, really good defense. I think this is one of the biggest things we've improved on in recent weeks. And as I say that, we give away a penalty, but Pavias then go to the corner, set up the driving mall, um, Warsaw just trying to defend that there. Pavias then with a line out, the set up a driving mall, which then Callum, who's literally just come on the pitch, does steal the ball, but I'm not sure what the offense was for. But because the ref had gave a team warning, he then gave Callum a yellow card for the offense with literally being on the pitch for about 30 seconds. So Pavias line out now on the attack, the nine shifts that across, but it does go loose into their 13. Uh, ben tackles there. And they're attacking in our 22. Neil, who's just come on, great tackle there. Trying to build momentum, but with some great defense from Warsaw. And just as I say that, Corey gets in for the turnover, which Mitch does clear with a box kick into their 15. But great pressure there from Dean. Step, step, but then Dean does tackle him and the offload does go into their 12. But another great tackle from Neil. So again, Warsaw defending. It felt like for the first like 10, 15 minutes of this half, we were just defending pretty much a lot of the time. Um, but some great tackles from the boys, trying to hold it out as much as we can. However, Pavia's come back on the blind side. Um, that eight then takes that in, gets a great offload for them to score in the corner, which they do then take the conversion and they miss that. Pavia scrum now midfield, the eight picks and goes from the back. Um, he dummies the pass, steps inside, breaks through with an offload. Um, Pavia's now just tr trying to play quick rugby. Uh, they get the offload then again inside. Great cover tackle there from the boys and they're literally about five meters out. But then the nine picks and goes, but drops the ball. Neil tackles the nine. The ref then gives a penalty, which then I think Neil gave a bit of back chat because the player dropped the ball, but Neil tackled him. So then the ref gave Neil a yellow card. Neil then continued with some back chat, which ended up in a red card for Warsaw. Scrum now for Pavias, and it comes out the back. The nine spreads it wide. It looks like a good move, but then the ball is thrown out of play. Scrum now for Warsaw. It comes out the back to Mitch. Mitch with a bit of a loose pass. And again, we're just putting too much pressure on ourselves. And Pavias do regain that ball, but then it's all over the place. And as you can see from the conditions now, it was getting worse and worse. Pavias do regather the ball, and as they take it through, the 12 breaks through a few tackles and gets down for a try, which they easily convert. And if you can see from this shot, just look at the rain, it's just pouring down. It was absolutely soaking and freezing, which just forced so many mistakes from both sides. So now, so now Warsaw being down by four points and the game is closing into an end. Ben with a little chip over the top, uh, which is a, forces another knock on and you can see from the conditions, it is just terrible. Scrum for Warsaw into Ben. Again, it's dropped, but Ben with a clearance kick. Um, which doesn't go very far, but then we do manage to just about get the ball back. Ben gets on the outside, um, then the ball comes back into George. George then steps back on that blind side and takes the ball in. Then with a little chip over the top from Dean, which Callum and Dean are chasing, the fullback does regather that, and then he's taking that in. Great tackle there from Lucas. And the ball then is thrown loose. Another great tackle. And again, I keep mentioning it, but these conditions, it was literally, you couldn't see. Everyone was dropping the ball. And then Pavia's here for a kick, but a great charge down from the boys. Corey chases that, puts a little kick through. 
Corey then trying to kick it back inside. The Pavies do regather the ball, uh, but some great pressure from Warsaw to get the turnover. Hansen takes that in, and now we're just picking and going, picking and going. We're literally five meters out. There is a couple of minutes left of this game. Then it comes wide, Ben spreads it wide again. Uh, but then Pavey is not the ball on. We go back for the penalty, which we tap and go. Liam takes that ball in, and we're literally five metres out now. And then he goes into the corner, and I can't even see what's going on in this clip. It's literally just a massive mess in the corner, which somehow Pavey has turned over. Uh, they then throw it to the back. They kick it out, but he gets nowhere with that one. So Warsaw line out now. Great throw from Corey. Great take from Lucas in this weather. Warsaw set up the driving mall, just trying to push them over now. Now we're literally five meters out. George takes that in and he's literally a meter short. And then some quick thinking, comes out to Ben, pops it to Rob, and Rob crashes over to get a try in the last couple of minutes. And as you can see from this clip, it, this just shows how much it meant to all of us. Yes, Rob. Hold on, Rob. Yes, yes Rob! Ben with the kick, but they do charge the ball down, so even more pressure on us now. Now, these last couple of minutes of the game were just so intense, like there was so much pressure on both teams. Warsaw in the lead, the conditions were shit. Warsaw now defending, um, Pavers on the attack, it was, yeah, it was quite scary. But with a lovely turn over there from Callum, we do get a penalty. Ben clears the ball. Warsaw go for the line out, a great take from Lucas again. Then the ball is thrown out the back. Ben puts another kick over the top, which then goes into their winger, who does knock the ball on. Great pressure from the boys there. Also scrum now, and it comes out the back into Ben. Ben into Rob. Rob just crashing that ball up. Now Warsaw just trying to secure this ball, trying to keep the ball as much as we can for, to ride out these last couple of minutes. Then Ben finds some space, passes it into Hansen, but the ref said that was a forward pass. So now Pavia's got their last chance, they've got a scrum. The 13, then throws it wide into the 11, who does knock the ball on. So Warsaw get the scrum, it's the last play of the game. It comes out the back to Ben, and Ben kicks the ball off the pitch for Warsaw to win the game. And the game ended there, 27-26 to Warsaw. We literally won by one point. So that is by far the closest game we've had all season and to get the double against Pavias away was a great result for Warsaw. Thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So from me and another match day vlog, I'll see you in the next one.